completing the square on the quadratic where a is negative. And you might wonder why this one gets its own video. Before we talk about this one, it's probably better if you look at the videos which are entitled B is even, B is odd, and actually also where A is more than one. Following the same method as before with the A is more than one, we're going to factorize out the uh, negative. So let's take that out the front. In square brackets, what we're left with is something lovely on the inside. We complete the square on what's on the inside, as usual. So negative square bracket, so that when we have the curly bracket, it looks different. Take away the two squared, which I'm going to write as four. Or at least I actually said it. So don't skip that step if you're not comfortable with that, but I think it should be fine. And then we're going to combine back the negative to the expression. So we have x plus 2 or squared plus 4 plus 3. Now I wouldn't recommend going on to necessarily um, solve this in this video, but you definitely could. What you'll probably want to do at the very least is simplify, which means combining those last two terms. And then we have completed the square. Let's have a look at that one more time with this. At this point, it's probably a good idea to pause the video, have a go yourself, see if you've taken on board the lessons from the previous question and see if you can apply it to a different setting. Okay, so how do we do this one? We are taking out that negative, the thing that's causing the problem. We use square brackets to make sure that we are keeping it nice and organized. Now, this is a bit of a pain. It's just an odd B term. So we're going to go use fractions. That's going to be the only difference really here. To divide nine by two, I can literally write nine over two. It's a revelation to some uh, when you first see that. So make use of it. And we're going to subtract the nine over two squared and the plus nine is still there unchanged. So where are we at now? A bit of tidying. We're going to, could we potentially bring that in now? Well, since the tidying doesn't necessarily need to take place before we bring the negative back in, we could do it all in one. So let's say the negative comes in at this point. And then in our minds, we're thinking, okay, well, that makes this positive. So I'm going to change the actual magnitude of the fraction, right? Then not the size. So we can just go ahead and change that. And at the same time, just write this fraction um, as what it is. So expanded, we square the top and square the bottom. And then we get um, plus nine as well. It's good to write the nine in terms of quarters. So that's going to be 36 over four. And we can combine to tidy up and finish the completed square form. So we have 84 plus 36, which is 120 over four, which is 30.